Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another unboxing and this time it's from Colourpop. Um, if you don't know who they are, they're a makeup brand that is more sold in America than the UK so they are still quite hard to get hold of but I've managed to get hold of a few little things so it's just like a little mini haul so if you want to see what I got and also how it looks then carry on watching. So the first thing I got is one of their ultra matte lips and this is in Tool. I've heard such a lot about their matte lipsticks so I was kind of excited to try one but there's so, so many colours to choose from. I didn't know what so I went for this one. Um, it's actually a lot more red than I thought it was on their website, a lot more berry but it's quite nice, just a lot more red. Honestly, from the pictures it's just sort of like swatches and they always differ on screen to how they look in person. But I'm quite proud with that, so I'll try that on in a minute. I also got four eyeshadows. These. They're just a single one, so you can put them in any palette. But because I bought four, I also got a free little palette. So that just... Opens up like that, and you can just put all the four in it, which I think is really good. It's really good quality as well, it's quite heavy, it's magnetic. But the eyeshadows I got are Bel Air, which is like a matte, sort of browny, ready kind of colour, and Get Out, which is more of like a cranberry colour. You can see it on there. I think it's gorgeous and especially for autumn. Then I got Softcore, which is like a pinky brown, and Take the Lead, which is like a dark brown. And I thought all them colours would go really, really well together. So that is the eyeshadows in the palette. I might not keep them in this order, I'm not very sure yet, but I think they look really, really good together and they're going to be perfect for this time of year. Especially this one, it's like a berry colour, but I think they're actually all going to go pretty well together. So let's try them and see how they look. Um, I'm going to use this one first as like in my crease and it'll just blend well with the rest. So if I'm looking down it's because I've got my mirror here so I apologise for that but I will try. Well there's not too much fallout when you press into it, a little bit but not much and it picks up well on the brush. That is so pigmented. Can you see it? You can't really see it's not picking up. In person you can see the colour straight away blending out really well as well. Look how gorgeous that colour is. It's like the the perfect burn orange. I really like it. In fact, you could wear this colour all over your eye, just like a very subtle look. That is like the crease colour done. I really, really like it. Um, next, I think I'm going to go in with this one. I'm just going to go all of my eyelids with it and then with the blender out. Again, a little bit of fallout, nothing major. 
Oh, I think it's gonna be filled with them. So I'm just going back in with that burnt orange and just blending the edges out. Now I'm going to go in with the darker one, which is like a dark sort of browny grey colour. I'm just going to add this to the ends of my eye, just sort of darken it up a little bit. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. I'm not going too over the top with this colour because I don't want it really, really dark. Just sort of add a little bit just to the outer corner. Up into the crease, I love it. I'm actually going to go back in and add a bit more of this maroon colour just to the centre sort of darken that colour I'm also going to add some of the light pink just to the inner corner of my eye, just sort of brighten it up a little bit and I also just want to try the colour because I want to see how it looks when it's on And then to my under eye, I'm going to use a mixture of these two colours to sort of blend it in under my eye. And that is my finished eye look using these gorgeous eyeshadows. They blend so well, they're super pigmented and there's hardly any fallout either which is really really good, especially if you're using the darker colours. Um, I would say though that the berry one doesn't pick up as well, so you need maybe a couple of coats with it, but once it's on it actually looks really really good. Um, they feel so comfortable. I haven't worn any primer underneath, so I'm hoping that they'll stay without creasing. 
honestly I think they will because they feel really really nice they don't feel heavy so I'm just going to add a bit of mascara because at the minute I look a bit weird and that is why maybe I've forgotten the mascara so I've had to switch over onto my phone because my camera battery died and yeah I need to charge that so I've just done my lip liner and now I'm going in with the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Tulle so it's quite ready, it looks a lot more berry on camera than it does in person um, I don't really know why but we'll go for it so it's a little thing, uh, doe foot, that's what it's called let's go in with this So that is the lip on, <clears throat> so my voice went weird then, um, it's drying a lot more red than it looks but on camera it looks, definitely looks a lot more berry than it looks in person, it looks a lot more red in person but it feels quite comfortable, I can feel it drying but obviously it's not dried yet so I don't know if it's that drying on the lips or not, I would guess it probably is because it's a matte. Um, it sort of has a bit of a weird smell and I'm not sure if I like the smell or not. I think I maybe just need to try it a couple of times. But it feels comfortable. You can see it drying and it is going more red. But I think it actually goes with the eye look really, really well. So I'm quite pleased with that. And yeah, it actually feels quite comfortable. I can feel it on my lips though. Which I'm not sure. But at the same time I really want to try some of the other colours I know there's a few that are meant to be like the Kylie Jenner ones um, so if you have any suggestions for colours I should get then please leave them in the comments below I'm going to start waving that around because um, I'd love to know what other colours I should get because on the website there are so many I was like spoiled for choice I had no idea what to choose and I just went for that and I'm actually quite pleased so I quite like it been such a long time since I've used my phone as well to record on that I've forgotten that I have to look sideways rather than straight on but oh well, we'll just have to go with it because I managed to get the most of it done so so yeah I'm really really pleased with my little cool pot haul I love these eyeshadows just look how gorgeous they are I think they actually go really well with this lip as well I think the eyes would probably look better if you did eyeliner but I can't do it. Well, I, I can, it just takes me forever and I didn't want to in the eyeshadow. And obviously I didn't have a cool pop one anyway, so that's not really the aim of the video. But yeah, if you can do winged eyeliner and you have all these colours, go for it. I think it would look so nice. But I can't. So. As the lips drying as well, it's feeling more dry. But at the same time, I'm sort of used to like swear a lot of matte lipsticks and especially liquid ones. But oh, a little bit of transfer, it mustn't be quite dry yet. Hmm, don't know about that. But I like the colour, it actually looks a lot better on because I've only just tried it on my hand, it looks a lot better on than off. But the eyeshadows, I was so pleased with these, like the fallout is literally nothing. Um, they're pigmented, oh when I have it upside down, <laughs> they're pigmented and yeah I really want to try more of these. Also I love this little um, palette as well, I'm not sure white is the best colour but I really like it, I love how it opens. I would have loaded a little mirror here then, 
because I think that would have just really added to it, especially if you can travel with it. But, you know, not all palettes have mirrors in. If you have any suggestions of what I should get from Colourpop next, and then please leave them in the comments below because their website is full of so many things and I don't know what to get. Um, so I hope you like this video. If you want to see more haul videos, then please let me know. Or basically, any ideas you might have for future videos, I am open to any ideas. I have loads planned and I'm so excited for some of them because I think they're going to be some of my favourites and I hope they will be yours too. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, it would mean such a lot if you did. And of course, there is a new video every week, every Sunday. I try and do it about 7. Depends on the upload because my internet is not the quickest. So, I can't really do much about that. We've got it as quick as we can, but we live in the middle of nowhere, basically. So, the internet isn't the best. Uh, so, I'll see you soon with another video.